Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to season two, episode one of Oshie no Koi. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. If you do hear fireworks, I'm sorry. Okay. The music that way. <laughs> I don't think our plays will ever get to like the same level as this because god damn I mean we're only a couple of minutes into this episode but th no way there is no way there's two different levels on that shit. Whoa <laughs> freaking light. Now, I've already seen this opening. The last two days, between Wednesday and Thursday, you know, not really a little bit today. I was busy all day today at work and then doing some other things and such. But no, this song is good. Like, as much as I love the first song, something about this song is just next level.
just cry. Mm, no emotion, right? Mm -mm, no chemistry, even though it's clearly there. Well, you know, <laughs> we can't talk about that yet, Ruby. Literally does not sound like her. She looks so pretty with longer hair. The baby has been through so much shit. Like, oh my god.
the fucking chill? Hello? You telling me you think that was her holding back? I mean, shouldn't y'all just say fuck it and just invite everybody? But it's better to, like, you know, know different things knowledge-wise, duh. <sighs> and they're a loner. That doom and gloom. Well, yeah. You don't have to be a dick, though. <laughs> but 
But you have talent, though. Remember, I mean, damn, your eyes, child. You have that fucking gift. <clears throat> I still liked it, though. But, of course, just as much as anyone else, we're questioning. You're like, are you really sure about that? And then she dies. Mm. Well, yeah. Mm hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You do what you gotta do. Because you don't really want to step on anybody's toes on, like, suggesting certain things. Because it, it's good or bad in either way. It is, but why do I feel like either one of these two is about to lash out to this Arthur and be like, I don't like the way it is! Be like, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, and, you know, she could be risk of getting fired, even though we know that's not going to happen. But voicing your opinion on something, 9 out of 10, it's always not going to be good. Oh, God, here you go. Uh
And I get it. You don't have time for everyone, but damn. Yeah, that makes sense. And we don't want the play to be extremely long. Not really, in a way. I mean, I get that, but damn, girl. Her eyes are gorgeous. She kind of gives me, like, um, kind of vibes from Fruits Basket. Or, if we could say, like, someone currently, Bochi. Everything. Girl, not everything. God, do you know how much they can lose for reviving a whole script like that? Like, okay, no, no, no. Deadass. Like, th think of movies in general when movies are being play uh, made. Like, okay. Um, the biggest one that I can kind of think of where, um, in the end, it's, like, still one of the biggest shit storms of, like, the last couple of years, um, the movie Dress Up Darling, or, no, not Dress Up Darling, um, oh my god, it's, ah, god, I don't freaking remember it, hold on. Don't worry, darling. There we go. Okay. If you have been a fly on the wall when that movie came out, what, two years ago? Was it two years ago? Yeah. Two years ago, when that movie, because mind you, when I saw the trailer for that movie... It was, like, the most anticipated film 
for me in general, not only because of aesthetic wise, it, it looked like something very similar to the Stepford Wise movie. If you ever, anyone my age, because I know no one younger is going to be like, I'm not going to watch that crap. Um, had seen it, or if you possibly just taken the chance and be like, oh, hey, this movie looks good and such. Let me tell you, after, like, mind you, when that movie, I didn't even go see uh, Don't Worry Darling in theaters. I watched it on Max, pretty much almost like everyone else did. Um, it was one Sunday um, morning slash afternoon while I was at work, and I was like, well, I want to see what this was about. Like like I said, it was one of the most anticipated films that I was truly excited for. And mind you, like I said, I was at work for five hours and 30 minutes. It took me the whole shift to finish that damn movie. Then I came home, got my mom to watch it with me, and I was like, even on my second watch, I'm still fucking confused. Because... From what we all heard um, about what the heck was going on behind the scenes of this movie, I heard this movie went through several rewrites. Um, so many different things that when you watch the movie as a whole, you're sitting here like, what the heck is this? Like, some of it makes sense, and then some of it doesn't. So I get the fact that the author is like, okay, can we just revive? Can we just start from the ground up and try to make something new? But that does lose time on how much you need people to rehearse. Um, so I'm not going to blame it all on her. I get it because, you know, once again, thinking of as someone who is in the entertainment business or industry, but not fully into, like, the acting portion and everything. Once again, time is money, and money is time. Regardless, you cannot waste these people's time and such. And even if you are someone who was like, you said, you, from the get-go, you were like, yes, I'm okay with this. I want something like this. I want this to be live action. I want this arc specifically in a play. But you coming in, even as the creator of a series, not, excuse me, 9 out of 10 voicing your opinion on something, even with Akane coming in and saying, like, I, I kind of am expecting this character to be like this. It's a blessing and a curse to do that. That's all I'm going to say. But no, this first episode for season two is not bad. I love how it started. Just seeing the atmosphere. Once again, yeah, uh, uh, America with our players, we, we need to do better. We need to do better because we're getting our ass beat. I mean, like, yeah, sometimes when you can say, like, some of the Broadway musicals that I have seen, like, they are top, top tier. But, <laughs> once again, Japan, duh. Um, with this series, and my little opinion on this series now, especially in the last, what, the time between the end of season one coming into season two, a lot of things have been happening with this series. Um, and then the series, it's something that a lot of people were like, oh, I think it's gonna happen, but then secretly, me, I was over here like... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I thought no way in hell they were going to do that. And they did it. And I still don't know how to personally feel about that. Um, so I don't know. I don't know, really. I, I think maybe we'll talk more about that when we get to the final episode of this season. Um, regardless, I am still excited for this. I'm ready to see, you know... What is all in store for the second season? How much closer Aqua is going to get closer and closer to finding out once again who killed, uh, like, who made What's-His-Face killed I that day? Because, once again, now I am 99.99% .99 sure it was the dad, because, duh, his ass still has not popped up. So, hopefully, a big hoping, he does pop up. Also, before this show, this season is over. That's a good thing. And then, I do hope we go, we kind of get to focus more on Ruby, but 
We'll see. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction for Trap episode 1 of Season 2 of Ocean and McCoy. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos if you want to join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for Episode 2. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!